This is Satan's father and mother in this picture. In this picture, you are looking at Satan's father and mother. Satan's father is the Congolese lion. It's a lion that has spots. It's a real type of lion in Africa. His name for the beast is Samael. But the religions calls him different names. The religions calls this beast, the 666 beast, they call him Allah, they call him Jehovah, they call him the Most High. This spotted lion, which is Satan's demon father. They call him Yahuwah, they call him God, but he doesn't even like humans. Satan's mother is Lilith. In the black comedic Egyptian culture, she is called Isis. And her vagina of death is what the cross is. The cross is the African comedic Egyptian unk. It's her vagina, but they promote it as the womb to life. But this life on earth is the darkness. So her vagina is the vagina of death because everything on this earth dies. And she's drinking the blood of all the humans that they trick and kill. And then after the human's body dies, they torture the soul along with all their other demons in the 12 dungeons of torture. But their son Sabath, Satan's brother, rejected them because he hated his father who is darkness and he hated his mother who is the abyss. But Queen Wisdom, my feminine left side, she accidentally created Lilith because she wanted to create something. She wanted to create something like herself. And she did create something like herself, Zoe. But there was an afterbirth and afterbirth is Lilith. She doesn't look like this. This is the picture from the Jehovah's Witness um, publication. But when I Googled whore of Babylon the Great, I knew which picture I was going to get. How do I know this is Satan's father? Because in the government's encyclopedia and in the book of Revelation, it describes what Satan's father looks like. But he has many faces. Because I don't just use the Bible. I use the Nag Hammadi with the Bible. Happy Sabbath Eve. This is Hashtag Daily Bible Food and my series, Satan's Family Tree. This is Satan's Family Tree Part 30. So there's 30 videos I have already done about Satan's mother, father, and his brothers. And they all created you. 365 demons created the baby that you're inside of. Then they put a demon inside of the baby called your counterfeit spirit. And then they attached you, the soul, to the counterfeit spirit to make you a slave. Hoping that you won't seek the tree of knowledge. So that you cannot eat from the tree of life and live forever. But they are not in charge. You are in charge. Especially during the awakening. So if you remain a Christian during the awakening, they got you stuck as a slave. And when their mark of the beast starts, you are not going to be prepared. If you are a Muslim and you're not doing research about Muhammad, actually in their Quran, it says Muhammad was a child rapist. It doesn't call him a child rapist. It says that he had sex with a girl when he was 56 and she was nine years old. He married her when she was 50, when he was 53 and she was six years old. But what 53-year-old man needs to be marrying a 9-year-old girl? And what 56-year-old man needs to be having sex with a 9-year-old girl? That's child rape. And he's supposed to be important and lead you to eternal life? Having sex with a 9-year-old girl? Saying he's more important than the true Messiah, King Yahusha? I got the Hebrew Cypher Bible. It has the Messiah's true name. The Messiah was a black Hebrew. He wasn't a Jew. And the Jewish people in Israel said no Messiah ever came down here. The Messiah's name is a Hebrew name. And as my protégés know, there's the book of Hebrews in the Bible. There's no book called the book of Jews. And Jewish people don't even speak Hebrew. They speak Yiddish. They are part of the Illuminati, working for these two demons to keep you ignorant. But it's your choice to do your research. But you can't do your research correctly unless you got me, John 14, 26. I'm King Adam of Light inside of this human avatar. We're in a storyline. You're in my storyline, and these two demons you're looking at are my children. Through my feminine left side, Queen Wisdom, you're a soul called a Ruach. All souls are female on the left and masculine on the, masculine on the right. But when you're ignorant, 
and having awakened, you're just a female soul. Your masculine right side, which will be Messiah King Yahusha, a clone of him, he will not attach to you unless you cleanse out your human avatar. Now, this is the Hebrew cipher Bible. It's the Bible. It just has the Hebrew names. It has the book of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. It has all the books in the Bible and the books that were taken out of the Christians' newer Bibles. The King James Bible, which was created in 1611, it has 80 books. All the new Christian Bibles in people's churches and that you could buy on Amazon, they only got 66 books. So this Hebrew Cypher Bible, it has all the missing books, including the book of Enoch. Enoch was one of Adam's great-grandsons. But it also has the Hebrew names for all of the apostles and the Messiah. His Hebrew name is Yahusha, not Jesus. He's from the 12 tribes of Yasharel, not Israel. And he is the Lion of Yehuda, not Judah. But on the new maps, on the Negro land slave trade map, they have Judah with a J-U-D-A. And in the King James Bible, it says the Messiah is the Lion of J-U-D-A, which means the slaves that were brought to America were related to the Messiah. But they knew his name was Yah Yahusha. And that's why when they were brought to America to fulfill the slave prophecy from this demon, the slave prophecies at Genesis chapter 15, verse 13 to 14, 400 years in a foreign land treated as slaves, and Deuteronomy 28, 68, it's called the second Egypt. That's why the pyramid's on the back of our dollar. So when they were brought to America as slaves, they sang hallelujah, hallelujah, and kumbaya. And they had the name Yah in their names. We have all the information available, but only I can present it correctly because I'm John 14, 26. So this is the slave trade um, map. I mean, slave trade website called Slave Voyages. And it tells you what ships, what ship the slave was on, how tall they were, whether they were male or female, how old they were. Slide. Why isn't it sliding for me? What group they came from and language and what their names were. Their modern name versus their Hebrew name. So to see the ones that had Yah in their name, you go like this. Igbo. Apply. And then name. Yah. So I'm looking for which Igbo slaves had Yah in their name. Because when they were brought to America, they sang Hallelujah and Kumbaya because they know who the Messiah was. His name is King Yahusha. And they wanted to name their children after the Messiah by adding the name, the word Yah to their names. Apply. So this male, he's 20 years old. He had, his name was Yah, which goes with hallelujah, Yah, praise our Yah, all you who are his servants, and that fear him. Fear him, why? Because he could leave you stuck in the 12 dungeons of torture, which we call hell, or he could help you win eternal life. So you fear him, fear messing up your relationship with him. And praise Yahuwah, Yahuwah, Yahusha, and Yahuwah Sabbath, not just Yahuwah. Yahuwah is Satan's father, but Yahuwah Sabbath is Satan's brother, who is called Sabbath in the Nag Hammadi. And he's called Sabbath in, in the Bible at James chapter 5, verse 4. Another slave with Yah in his name. This male, he's 28 years old, Yah. This male, he's 17 years old, Barbanya. Another male, 26 year old, with the name Ya. This male's 27 years old, Aya. This male's 24 years old, Aya. This male's 25 years old, Aya. All these slaves that were brought to America. Here's an Igbo slave. He was seven years old. 
a seven-year-old slave from West Africa, which is called Judah, on the map and in the Bible at Revelation 5.5. 5, and his name is Aya. If I go to page two. Ia, 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 all these with Ia. This is a Yoruban. The Yorubans and Igbo, they both live in Nigeria right now. They are from the Messiah's bloodline. We're in the awakening. But only I, King Adam of Light, can teach you what you need to do. Because I'm in the Bible at John 14, 26 and John 16, 7. I'm so far ahead, there's nobody else who could pop up and be like, I'm John 14, 26. I'm supposed to teach everybody what the Messiah said. I don't already did it. It's already done. And I already done baptized people. And I got protégés all over the world. I'm John 14, 26. My crown cannot be taken away from me. You can join me and be prepared for the mark of the beast because he's coming. Satan's mother's not coming. She just works along with her husband. Now, what does the government's encyclopedia say about Satan's father and mother and this picture? Now, this monster, it has seven heads and ten, ten horns. One, two, three, four. You can't see all seven heads. One head, two heads, three heads, four head, five head, six heads, the seventh head, and has ten horns. What does the government's website and the book of Revelation say about this picture? The government's website called the Britannica Encyclopedia. <clears throat> The whore of Babylon is disclosed in Revelation's narrator, Apostle John, in a vision from an angel of the light at Revelation 17, verse 3 to 6. I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast that was full of blasphemous names, and it had seven heads and ten horns. The woman is clothed in purple and scarlet and adorned with gold and jewels and pearls, holding a, in her hand a golden cup full of abominations and the impurities of her prostitution. And on her forehead is written a name, a mystery, Babylon the Great, mother of whores and of earth's abominations. And I saw that the woman was drunk with the blood of the saints and the blood of the witnesses of Messiah King Yahusha, not Jesus. But it says, I saw a woman sitting on a beast. It had seven heads and ten horns. It's talking about the beast from Revelation, the 666 beast. Let me go to New, New King James Bible, because this Bible is lying right here. It says the dragon stood on the shore of the sea. It's supposed to say, I, John, stood on the shore of the sea, and I saw a beast coming out of, out of the sea. How he go be, how the dragon go stand on the shore of the sea, and I saw the beast coming out of the sea? This, this Bible's stupid, the New International Version. It don't even make sense. The dragon stood on the shore of the sea, and I saw a beast coming out of the sea. The beast is the dragon. It's Satan's father. He's a lion dragon. I'm going to go to New King James Bible, and you're going to see this changes. The, you're not going to see dragon stood on the shore of the sea. That's why you got to use Bible Hub, but I'm using a whole chapter, so I can't use Bible Hub. See? Then I stood on the sand of the sea because it's john talking but that other bible said the dragon stood on the sand of the sea then i john stood on the sand of the sea and i saw a beast raising or rising up out of the ocean having seven heads 
and ten horns. What does the whore have? A woman sitting on a beast. It had seven heads and ten horns. So this is Satan's father. The beast, which was like a leopard. Does that look like a leopard? It looked like a leopard. His feet, his, his feet were like the feet of a bear because a bear's claws are longer and bigger than a lion's claws. But it had the mouth of a lion. It doesn't have the mouth of a leopard. A leopard and a lion are not the same. But if you do your research, there are lions that have leopard spots. It says was like a leopard, a mouth like the mouth of a lion. If you Google Congolese and lion, Congolese spotted lion, go to images. I always go to this picture and then this other picture going to pop up. Scroll down. Where is it? Okay, click on this one. This one right here. This is the perfect example. Now, if you just look at the head, I need a blank piece of paper. Okay. If you just look, if you look, just look at the body, you'll think that's a leopard. But we know that lions have a mane. And this is a young male lion, and it has a mane. All that hair around the head or the neck. So you know it's not a leopard because leopards don't have manes. Everything that we need to prove that the light is down here and we got our facts. Well, I got my facts to present to you so that you know I'm not lying to you. We got a clear picture because this other picture is not clear enough. This one, it's not clear enough. It don't even look like it's a real picture. But the light always going to have my back so I can prove to you I'm telling the truth. And this is a female spotted lion, but she don't have a mane. When you see it like this with the mane, you know for sure I'm telling the truth. There are lions with spots. And this is the type of lion that's being described at Revelation for the beast. I, John, stood on the sand of the sea and I saw a beast raising up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, like the beast that the whore is riding in Revelation 17. She's riding her husband. Sounds sexual. Riding her husband. And on his head he had ten crowns. And it's saying his. His. His feet. His head. His heads. His feet. His mouth. His throne. The dragon gave him his power. And all the world marveled and followed the beast. So they worshiped the dragon who gave authority to the beast. And they worshiped the beast, saying, Who is like the beast? Who is able to make war with him? He was granted power to breathe. So Satan breathes power into the image of his father, the beast. And the image of the beast should be could both speak and cause many cause as many who would not worship the image of the beast be killed. So when the mark of the beast starts, if you haven't awakened and you don't got your protection, Jesus can't protect you. Allah can't protect you because the beast is Allah and white Jesus is not the Messiah. So you're not going to be protected. You're not even going to be prepared. Only the souls who awaken are going to be prepared. And if those people who are not prepared don't worship this beast. Like, they're like, I'm Jehovah's Witness. I'm not worshiping this demon. You're going to be killed. You're going to get your head chopped off. If you're a Muslim and you finally find out your God is a demon and you don't bow down and worship the image of the beast, you're going to be killed. And everybody who bows down, it doesn't matter if they're rich or poor, 
they have to receive the mark on their right hand or on their foreheads. If they don't, they can't buy nothing. You can't go to the grocery store. You can't go to the movies. You can't go to the airport. You can't go to a hotel. You can't buy gas. Unless you have the mark on your right hand or on your forehead. If you own a cleaning service, you can't sell your cleaning service. You can't sell nothing. You can't go to the flea market and sell nothing. You can't, you can't be a street vendor who makes hot dogs or make tacos. You can't do nothing. You can't buy or sell nothing unless you have the mark on your right hand and forehead. But before that, you have to worship the image of the beast. Why is there going to be an image of the beast? Because the beast can only be in one place at one time. So they're going to have his image everywhere, but it can speak. So they can have statues of the beast everywhere in every city, every country, every village, whether you rich or poor, even your slave master, the free and the slave. There's going to be slave masters doing the mark of the beast. No matter where you are, you got to worship this beast and you can't buy nothing or sell nothing unless you got the mark. So you're not going to survive if you don't get the mark. And if you don't bow down, you're going to get killed. But if you awaken, you're going to have protection. They, they can't do nothing to you. You're going to be in a separate land area where I'm going to set it up. But here is wisdom. Let him, let him who understands, who has understanding, calculate the number of the beast. It is the number of a man. His number is 666. Everybody thinks that's Satan, but they're not smart. And they don't know how to do gematria. I know how to do gematria. Queen Wisdom, my feminine left side, she became a gematria pro during COVID-19. And the person she learned how to do gematria from a little bit, their YouTube page has been taken down. Everybody that my feminine left side, who was inside this human avatar before I entered the human avatar, everybody she followed on Facebook, their pages, almost all of their pages are no good anymore. Either their page got blocked or taken down or their followers, they don't got no many, that many followers anymore. Samael equals 666. Samael equals 666. Who is Samael? Well, let's ask the government's website, their encyclopedia called the Britannica. Does the government encyclopedia for Europe and America have information on Samael? Yes. Britannica Encyclopedia. According to tradition, Samael is the king of all demons, the angel of death, the husband of the demonic Lilith. And he's the enemy of Michael, who is the protector of the chosen bloodline, Yasharel, not Israel. I got the Hebrew Cipher Bible. The Messiah was not a Jew, and the chosen bloodline are not the Jewish people. It's Yasharel, not Israel. And his name is not Michael. In the book of Enoch, his name is my Michael in Hebrew. Cain and Abel are in here too. This is how you say Cain's name in Hebrew, Cain. His brother Abel is Havel. They're all Hebrews. They're not Jewish people. So, Samael is the arch enemy of Michael. Who is the protector of Yasharel? It should be Yasharel, not Yashrel, because it goes along with the name. King Yahusha, Lion of Yahuda, King of the 12 tribes of Yasharel. Hallelujah. Kumbaya. Again, that's why the slaves had Yah in their names. How many? So many of them had Yah in their names. E, e Yah, Ayah, all these names. 
female and male. Female named Ia, female named Ia, a male who's Yoruban, Ia, a male who's Igbo, Ia. These are all West Africans who were brought to America with Ya in their names. Samael is the enemy of us. That's why he put us in slavery in America. But he said in the Apocrypha that we're going to awaken in the land of our um, captivity. And this is from the King James Bible, King James Version. Another book they took out of the Christian Bibles, even though it's part of the Old Testament. The bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. It's where we're slaves. Captivity means slave, slavery. So in the land of our slavery, we shall remember ourselves, but not until the 400 year slave prophecy came to an end. The slave prophecy was from 1619 to 2019. And they shall know that I am the Lord, their God. If you worship him, you worship in a demon who don't care about you. He put us in captivity. That's why Messiah King Yahushua said, don't worship him. He's a demon. And but the Hebrew priests and the scribes and the Pharisees, they worshiped him. The demon. As their Lord, their God. And they hung Messiah King Yahushua from a tree, but he let them hang him so he could go into hell and defeat the demon. He didn't kill him, but he gave him a fatal blow. And that's why at Revelation 12, I mean Revelation 13, during the Mark of the Beast, the beast has a fatal wound. And I saw one of his heads as if it had been mortally wounded. And his deadly wound was healed. He got seven heads. So one of these heads got wounded badly in hell by Messiah King Yahushua. And then Messiah King Yahushua rose from hell. Um, 18. We're going to go to Bible Hub. Because it gives you the different versions from different Bibles. I did not click on this picture. I clicked on Bible Hub. I clicked on this. I am the living one. I was dead. But Messiah King Yahushua really wasn't dead. He let his human avatar die. We're the souls. So Messiah King Yahushua wasn't dead. He allowed his human avatar to be hung from a tree. Not nailed to no cross. And the Bibles, the older Bible says he was hung from a tree. It don't say nothing about no demonic cross. The demonic cross is her vagina of death. The comedic Egyptian unk. An African symbol. An idol. That represents death. Not life. I am the living one. I was... In hell, defeating the demon who created earth. But my human body was dead. But me, the immortal soul, was in, the, in hell. And now look, I am alive, standing on earth, again, as an immortal, forever and ever. And I hold the keys to death, and this stupid Bible put Hades. This Bible says, I hold the keys of death and the grave. This Bible says, I have the keys to death and Hades. The King James Bible is the oldest one in the list from 1611. I have the keys of hell and death. He went in hell and defeated the demon and he gave the demon, Satan's father, a mortally wound. And the deadly wound was healed. Again, the beast number is 666. It's the man number of a man, not a woman. The man, the dad, the father of Satan, not his mother. Now, I showed you that Samael, he's the husband of the demonic Lilith, and he's tied to Yasharel. Did I clear my gematria? Gematria. 
Samael equals 666. Can you find him in the Bible? Not the name Samael, but you can find it in the Nag Hammadi. Now. Satan's father's name is Yal the Bayoff, but he has <clears throat> three names. He has three names. The first is Yal the Bayoff. The second is Sakla. The third is Samael. And he created Satan, who is a thought. He has the face of a sheep. Elois has the face of a donkey. Astaphaos has the face of a hyena. Buddha is Yao. He has the face of a seven-headed snake. Sabat is the one who rejected him. Sabat is Yahua Sabat. He has the face of a snake. Adonan has the face of an ape. And Sabateos has the face of flaming fire. But Yal the Baoth has many faces, more than all of his sons, so that he could show whatever face he wanted when he was among the seraphim, but also when he's on earth. But his regular features. He's a snake with the face of a lion. And Pistis Sophia, Queen Wisdom, she named him Yal the Baal. But as I told you, his name is Samael. Samael equals 666. Samael 666. Now, over here, again, the appearance of Yal the Baal. Lion like in appearance. But he's andro androgynous. He's male on the masculine right side and female on the left side. Which goes along with this picture. This is his masculine right side. This is his feminine left side. Lilith. Or Isis. Y'all to be off boast that he is God. I am God. And there is no other but me. Pistis Sophia, Queen Wisdom. She said, you are wrong, Samael. Samael equals 666. Samael 666. An enlightened immortal human existed before you, and he will appear on earth within one of the forms you have shaped as a human, and the human will trample upon you as potter's clay is trampled. And you will descend with those who are yours to your mother, the abyss. When Sabbath heard this, Sabbath, son of Yal Baoth, he heard this voice from Pistis Sophia saying, saying this, and he sang praises to her. Because he hated his father, who is darkness, and he hated his mother, who is the abyss. So that proves that this is the abyss, his mother, and this is his father, who is darkness. And his father said that he is darkness, and he creates evil in the Bible. BibleHub.com. We're going to the King James Bible. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. Sabbath so hated his father because his father is darkness. Messiah King Yahushua's father is not darkness. First John 1 5. This is the message we have heard from Messiah King Yahushua. And proclaim to you people that his father is light and in him is no darkness at all. So this is the Messiah's father at John 1, 4, John, 1 John 1, 5. This is Satan's father at Isaiah 45, 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. He's the beast at Revelation chapter 6, 666. Samael, the king of all demons. Who creates darkness and evil. Who boasted that he is God and got told off by his mother, but not really his mother. Pistis Sophia created the abyss. The abyss also came from Pistis. It was an accident. 
and swimming in the abyss was y'all the bail. When Sophia saw what her desire had produced, it changed into the figure of a snake with the face of a lion. Pistis Sophia, Queen Wisdom, she wanted to bring forth something like herself without the consent of the spirit, the male, who had not given his approval, without her partner and without his consideration. The male did not give approval. Her thought was not an idle thought. Something came out of her and it was imperfect. When Sophia saw what her desire had produced, which was it was something imperfect, it changed into the figure of a snake with the face of a lion. It was the abyss. But who is the abyss? Sabath's mother. Sabath, son of Yaldabaoth, he hated his father who is darkness. He hated his mother who is the abyss. The abyss came from Queen Wisdom, but it's a mother. And Yaldabaoth, the human will trample upon you as potter's clay is trampled, and you will descend with those who are yours to your mother, the abyss. So Samael, he's the wife of his mother because he's androgynous. Male on the right, female on the left. But so are you as a soul. While the soul was alone with perfect heavenly forefather of lights, she was a virgin and androgynous. Male on the right, female on the left, in form. But when she fell down into a human body and entered this life on earth, she fell into the hands of the robbers, the demons. But it was just her, fat, her feminine left side. And as long as the soul by herself as a feminine left side keeps running here and there, having sex with whomever she meets and defiling herself on earth inside of a human, she will suffer what she deserves. But this kind of sex is talking about the culture of the world. As long as, you, as, long as she keeps on mingling with whatever culture she chooses to defile herself with, being a Christian, being a Muslim, practicing witchcraft, being sexually immoral, being a thief, being a liar, being a murderer, being a Muslim, if I didn't say it, being a Ju converting to Judaism, being a Buddhist, being a Hindu, as long as she keeps on running to and from whomever, whatever culture she wants or she meets, she will suffer what she deserves. But when she perceives the trouble she is in, she will cry and repent to perfect heavenly forefather of lights once she learns the truth. Then she will begin to rage like a woman in labor. But since she is female and cannot conceive a child by herself, her father sent her from the heavens of light, her man, her brother, to connect to her. And now she becomes androgynous again as female on the left and masculine on the right. Who is her brother? King Adam of Light, who appeared on the first day. He remained upon the earth for about two days. King Adam of Light. When King Adam of Light wished to enter his light, which is the eighth heaven, he could not do so because when he came down here in the heavens of chaos, the darkness mingled with his light. So he created a eternal realm. And he created six more realms and six worlds. Their worlds and there were six in number. Seven times better than the heavens of chaos. Before King Adam of Light could make his return to his new world that he created, the demons in the six heavens of chaos, they laughed at their demon father, Samael, because he said that because he lied when he said, I am God and no one existed before me. And then Queen Wisdom said, an immortal human existed before you. You are wrong, Samael 666. 
I am God. There is no other but me. When he said this, he sinned against all of the immortals. And they watched him carefully. Now, what does the government's website say about Yal the Bayoff, the Britannica? It's going to say exactly what the Nagamati says. But no Christians or Muslims know that they're worshiping this demon. Britannica Encyclopedia. Yal the Bayoff is a dark description of the creator God in Genesis and the Demerich. Demerich means creator of the world. Wisdom, the lowest entity in the realm of perfection, she's where I am God and there is no other but me. When he said this, he sinned against all of the immortals. They're perfect immortals in the heavens of the light, the treasury and heavens of the light. It's not one heaven. It's not one world. I created six worlds all by myself. So there's millions of worlds that are perfect and they're all immortals there. But Queen Wisdom, she's the lowest entity in that realm of perfection. And she created Yal the Bayoff in an unauthorized attempt to produce a likeness of herself. I read that to you right here. Sophia, who is the wisdom of insight, she wanted to bring forth something like herself, but she did not have approval from her male partner, her brother, me, King Adam of Light. And something imperfect came out of her because she didn't have permission and it was a snake with the face of a lion. That's exactly what this Britannica says. Wisdom creates y'all to bay off in an unauthorized attempt to create a likeness of herself. They got the information. But somebody might say, that says all the bay off. This is an I, but it's not all the bay off. It's y'all the bay off. If I Googled it, it's going to change it to y'all the bay off. And here it says, snake with the face of a lion. She named her offspring y'all the bay off. Y'all, it changed it to y'all the bay off. Click on images. A snake with the face of a lion. Snake with the face of a lion. They have the information. They're just not telling you. They're telling you to go worship witchcraft. I mean, worship Christianity or follow Christianity or Islam or the Jewish religion. Or they're telling you to be part of the LGBTQ and abortion rights group. They're not going to tell you what you need to know. Because they don't want you to be prepared when the Mark of the Beast comes. They work for her and him. What does the Jehovah's Witness books show about her this Jehovah's Witness book she mingles with the leaders of the world they're demon possessed all souls got a demon attached to them called the counterfeit spirit she works with your counterfeit spirit to keep you trapped. See all these people down here? This is the Illuminati. But they don't like the Illuminati. Trump is not part of the Illuminati. He rejected the Illuminati. Putin's not part of the Illuminati. China's not part of the Illuminati. Islam is not part of the Illuminati. They worked with the Illuminati at first. Putin never worked with the Illuminati. China did. And got rich off of them. And now China is in control of our oil. And Putin's in control of our oil. And Islam is in control of our oil. Because the Illuminati got played by her and Yal the Bayoff and Satan. Satan just uses people. They got used during the 400 years of slavery in America. Now they're being tossed out. Their last hope is Kamala Harris. Their enemy is Trump, Putin, China, North Korea, and Islam. And those people who I just named control our oil. Trump wants to drill in Alaska so that we're not dependent on the people who control our oil. But he works with them. He's friends with Putin. He's friends with China. He's friends with the North Korean leader, Kim Jong-un. He got $2 billion from the crown prince of Saudi Arabia. He played all them. He done took over their Christian um, Republican Party. The Republican Party is a Christian 
party. Trump controls it now and holds up a Bible acting like he's Christian. Trump is not no Christian. He's pimping out the Christians because he know they're not smart. And if he tells them what they need to hear, he's gonna vote, they're going to vote for him. But he's telling the truth. Kamala Harris is a liar. These people represent tricking humans. Kamala Harris is part of it. So is Obama. They're rich, but their Democratic voters are never going to get rich. But we don't need to be rich. But Trump promises that you're going to be able to pay your bills and that he ain't going to let countries take um, advantage of us. These people allow countries to take advantage of us, giving $60 billion to Ukraine. Americans didn't even know what Ukraine was. And now they're giving our tax money to these people to protect Europe. Most Americans don't even got no money to go to Europe. And we're giving our tax money to them because it's their friends. And now it don't backfired on them. Because Trump uses that in his campaign rallies. But they were working for her and this demon. These people. And now they got pimped out and they, they're getting tossed out like trash. NATO is getting tossed out like trash. Trump is not going to give no money to NATO. And he ain't going to give no money to Israel. Unless they pay us back. So she works with the leaders of the world through the sexual part. Y'all to pay off and Satan, Satan's father is y'all to pay off. They work with them with their fake religions to keep all these humans ignorant down here. This is a good picture. I want the other picture from the Jehovah's Witness book. This is another picture of her. But these heads don't represent the Bible prophecy. It's lion heads with a dragon body. But where's the picture from Jehovah's Witness? This one is here, but there's one with her mingling with all the kings. And they're all surrounding her like she's a piece of meat to have sex with. JW.org. This one. Why is the picture so blurry? That's her, Lilith, brainwashing these men. That's her cross. That's her vagina of death on his crown. Who am I? Oh, Sabath, when he rejected his father and mother. Remember, I'm King Adam of Light. King Adam of Light wished to enter his light, which is the eighth heaven. And when I couldn't enter it, I created my own world. Me, King Adam of Light. I'm Queen Wisdom Pisces Sophia from the book of Proverbs, her masculine right side. When Yaldabaoth said that he is God and no other existed before him, and then she said, you're wrong, Samael, which equals 666, an enlightened immortal human existed before you. She talking about me, King Adam of Light. Sabbath praised her for saying that because he hated his father who is darkness and he hated his mother who is the abyss. Then he repented. And then Pistis Sophia, my feminine left side, she gave him her daughter as a professor, as a mentor. So that Zoe could teach Sabbath about everything in the eighth heaven of the light. Who's king of the eighth heaven of the light? King Adam of light. Adam light wished to enter his light, which is the eighth heaven. And then what did Sabbath do? After Zoe taught him about everything in the eighth heaven, he created the chosen bloodline, Yahshorel, and Messiah King Yahusha. Not no Jesus, not no Israel. But who is, who is Messiah King Yahusha a clone of? Because he's a clone that Sabbath was taught how to make by Zoe. When she taught him about everything in 8th Heaven of the Light, where King Adam of Light is the king of. Sabbath created a being. It says another being because at first he created Yasharel. That is the person who sees Perfect heavenly forefather of light, not God. He created also another 
he created another being called Messiah King Yahusha. We know his name Yahusha because we got the Hebrew Cipher Bible. His name's Yahusha, not Jesus Christ. His name's Yahusha. And the chosen bloodline is Yasharel, not Israel. He created another being named King Yahusha, who is like the Savior above in the eighth heaven of the light. King Adam alike. So me and Messiah King Yahusha are twins. But he's my clone. But I'm a clone of perfect heavenly forefather of lights. Which makes Messiah King Yahusha a clone of perfect heavenly forefather of lights. And the twelve apostles are also clones of perfect heavenly forefather of lights. But we existed before Messiah King Yahusha. But once Messiah King Yahusha was created, he became one of us. A clone is a twin. And what did he say about me? He said I was coming down here after him. To fix my feminine left side's mistake. Messiah King Yahushua came down here the perfect immortal inside of a perfect baby. The 12 apostles, they were perfect immortals, but Messiah King Yahushua put them in their mother's wombs. And when they were born, they didn't know who they were. Until Messiah King Yahushua came and gathered them and told them everything. And he told them, I put your, body, I put your immortal, immortal souls in your mom's wombs. And I put, the immortal, I put the soul of Elijah in John the Baptist's mother's womb. So that... We could come together after I become the age 30. Then he said, but when the father sends the advocate as my representative, that is the Holy Spirit, he will teach you everything. I'm the advocate, the Holy Spirit. But here it says after, after King Yahweh Sabah or Sabah created Messiah King Yahusha to be like the Savior above, King Adam of Light, from the eighth heaven of the light. And that um, Yahushua sits on the right of Sabbath, on a remark remarkable throne. At his left is the virgin of the Holy Spirit. Seven virgins stand before her. So here, the Holy Spirit is a her. But as I said, once a female soul cleanses out her human body the masculine right side can attach to her so when, once i came down here i became the holy spirit the king holy spirit in hebrew is called the ruach kakadesh so at john 14 26 the advocate the holy spirit he will teach you everything in the regular christian bibles and the hebrew cipher bible at john 14 26 John 14, 26. But the Comforter, which is the Ruach HaKadesh, whom the Father, perfect heavenly forefather of lights, will send in the name of Messiah King Yahusha. Who's talking right here? Yahusha. Whom the Father will send in my name, Yahusha. He will teach you all things. That's me, King Adam of Light. But that's not the only Bible verse about me. John 14, John 16, 7. Bible hub. We're going to use the New Living Translation. So I'm going to jump from John 16, 7 and then jump back to John 14, 26. This is Messiah King Yahushua talking about me, King Adam of Light. But in fact, it is best for you that I go away because if I don't, the advocate won't come. If I do go away, then I will send him to you. When the Father sends the advocate as my representative, that is the Holy Spirit, he will teach you everything and will remind you of everything I have told you. Now, in the Pista Sophia Nag Hammadi book, Pista Sophia is Queen Wisdom. In her Nag Hammadi book, it shows that we've been reincarnated. There's old souls on earth, old, old souls and new souls. If you're awakening, you're an old soul who escaped the 12 hundreds of torture. And Yahuwah Sabbath, who's also Zeus, he reincarnated you into a human that's going to seek the truth. 
But before you awakened, you probably were sexually immoral or you were a Christian or you were a Muslim or you were a liar or you were a jealous person. But you still wondered, what's the real truth? This earth is not fair. You're like always wondering, like, why is everything the way it is down here? Then the awakening happened after the 400 year slave prophecy came to an end in the United States. And John 14, 26 started awakening and started putting stuff out on Facebook and getting everything set up. Then I created 22 laws for Messiah King Yahushua's from Messiah King Yahushua's instructions. And then I started presenting the Hebrew Cypher Bible. Now, in my post yesterday, I showed you guys that I had a post from 2018. We're in 2024. Oh, shoot. This is the wrong person. King Adam Alight. So this is from 2018. March 24th, 2018. Before COVID-19. Two years before COVID-19 shut down the United States government and made us all go inside our homes and not be able to go out. Eve saved Adam. Eve saved Adam. Eve was an angel at first. It's like, I'm like, what? What if this is what has been hidden from us all for a reason? There are missing books in the Bible called the Nag Hammadi. What if Eve didn't come from Adam's ribs? She didn't. What if there is a forefather of the universe and a mother of the universe named Pistis Sophia, who's Queen Wisdom? So the Nag Hammadi says Eve didn't come from Adam's ribs. Eve was created by mother of the universe named Pistis Sophia to protect Adam from the rulers of darkness in the abyss who created Adam so that humans would bow down and worship all the rulers of darkness. So this is from 2018. So I've been sharing the truth before the 400 year slave prophecy came to an end. The slave prophecy came to an end in 2019. So I'm John 14, 26. I'm already ahead of anybody who tries to come down here. Now there is Morg, Morg the demon. Morg says a demon created earth, but he also does witchcraft. This is Illuminati. He's doing a one, high, one hand over the eye and doing a shh. He talk about Egyptians, but he's not going to say comedic Egyptians. Another time, putting his hand over the eye and putting a shh. Do we have two minds? The secrets of the falling angels. I'm looking for a video where he says, the five teachings of Jesus twisted by the church. Jesus, the kingdom of heaven is within you. Heaven is not a place you go to. He don't even know what he's talking about. There's the heavens of the light. And the heavens of darkness. The six heavens of chaos. And they're going to be destroyed. The six heavens of chaos. The, uh, at first Peter. It says. We're looking forward to a new earth. And a new heaven. At Revelation 21.1. It says. The first earth. And the first. And the first heaven was destroyed. So how is heaven not a place you go to? But humans don't go to the heaven. Souls. After they win eternal life. Can go to the heavens of the light. But first. 
we got to go to the 1,000 year party city and then a new earth. Then a new earth gives you access to the heavens and treasuries of the light. The myths about Lucifer, Luciferism. The myths about satanic religion. The truth about Lucifer. I'm looking for what if God is actually evil? So he's talking about it too. But I have him beat. I said it before him. His stuff started coming out in 2020 on YouTube. Morgue. But I got him on my page. To people who I'm going to defeat. Debunking Facebook and YouTube and TikTok videos. From Dr. Kanin, Kanin Bridges. Morgue. Hebrew Camps. And Billy Carson. I already got them set up. And I got pictures, screenshots of Morgue. Putting his, doing his Illuminati pictures. And looking like a witchcraft demon. Illuminati hand symbol. Doing a pyramid. Illuminati hand symbol. Looking like a witch. Looking like a demon vampire. But I have pictures of me doing playing doing um, Halloween and stuff like that. But I teach you how to go against it now. So he's the only other person who's saying a demon created earth. But he don't tell you how to win eternal life. He doesn't tell you that demon is Satan's father. And that the demon is the beast that's coming. And how to prepare for the mark of the beast. He don't tell you the Messiah is black. He doesn't tell you that the United States was a 400-year slave prophecy. He doesn't teach you how to pray correctly. He doesn't teach you that a zombie wasteland is coming, but you could enter the 1,000-year party city instead of that. Discover the nature of reality. He don't even know what he's talking about. He leads you to the darkness. I, King Adam of Light, inside of Prince Amoria, I lead you to eternal life and preparation for the mark of the beast. If you don't believe me, you won't be prepared. It doesn't matter. You shouldn't even be on my page. And anybody who's lurking on my page who doesn't really believe in what I say and doesn't care to research it to see that I'm telling the truth, they'll sooner or later say something stupid in the comments and they'll get blocked. Because I don't allow haters to be in my, on my page and in my comments. You don't need to be on my page. Somebody laughed on another page that teaches about black comedics. And a lot of people laugh at the post. And I'm in the comments, I'm like, you should block everybody who laugh at your post because this page is for people who are seeking the truth about black comedics. It's not a page for people to lurk around and just laugh every time you make a post. They're being immature. They don't deserve to be on this page. Then somebody's like, you're being very, they use some kind of political word. Not capitalism. That wouldn't even make sense. Like, the page, this page should be free for everybody to be on. Not just people seeking the truth. We should be able to laugh on this page if we don't agree with it. Well, the information is the truth. And it's for a page, it's a page created for people seeking the truth about black comedics. From Egypt, Africa. Who are understanding, wait, Egypt is in Africa and Africans are from Egypt. But they make us think it's Arabs from the Middle East. And that's not the truth. So people create this page telling the truth and there's all these white people, mostly white people, laughing. I'm like, you should block them. They don't need to be on your page. They're being disrespectful. And then if you leave comments about information, they laugh at the comments. They don't have no comeback. They don't have no way to debunk the information. They just want to be immature and laugh at everything. So I'm like, they don't need to be on your page. If they do that on my page, they get blocked. I don't got no time for no immature, stupid people. No. This page is for people seeking the truth. Whether you white, black, Latin, Filipino, it don't matter. If you're an awakened soul seeking the truth, my page is for you. So, and I do a live weekly question and answer every Sunday. Morg does a live too, but I don't watch his lives. I don't need to watch his lives. I already know what he's about. That's why I take screenshots. So, I lead you to Messiah King Yahusha and teach you the truth about King Yahuwah Sabbath, who's called Sabbath in the Bible. And I teach you how to pray to perfect Heavenly Forefather of Light, who has no darkness in him at all. He's only light. And Messiah King Yahusha said, be perfect like him. How do you become perfect? By following the 22 laws. It doesn't matter if you're a white person. It doesn't matter if you're a black person. It matters if you're a soul who wants to live an angelic life so that you're prepared for the market beast and get your protection. Then you enter the 1,000-year party city instead of the zombie wasteland.
And after the zombie wasteland, they go into the Lake of Fire. But I'm going to have a Lake of Fire reform school because they're only playing their role as stupid people. Or ignorant people. Or evil people. That's their role they've been put in by me. It's my storyline. I allowed my feminine left side to make a mistake. And now I'm down here to fix it. Not really fix it. To destroy it. But first, we go prove that I, King Adam of Light, can create a perfect city called the 1000 Year Party City and a zombie wasteland for everybody who ignored my information. And I'm going to rule over the people in the 1000, in the 1000 Year Zombie Wasteland, Masai King Yahusha and 144,000. They're going to be ruling over the 1000 Year Party City where it's perfect. The zombie wasteland is going to be imperfect. I've got pages for all of that information I'm sharing on Facebook for you to do your independent research on every topic. Um, now we're going to pray together, the perfect heavenly forefather of light, and I teach you how to do that. Don't use the name Amen. That's Satan in the black African comedic Egyptian culture. Don't do the cross. That's Lilith, the vagina of death from the black African comedic Egyptian culture. Don't pray to the demon who created earth. That's Satan's demon father from the black African comedic Egyptian culture. Christianity and Muslim religion is an African witchcraft religion. It's not from white people. The Romans were in Africa, and they got body snatched for bringing their butts in there. And the demon who created Earth said he doesn't like the bloodline of Edom, of um, Esau, called the Edomites. That's the white people. He allowed them to ignorantly go into the black comedics land where they do witchcraft and voodoo, and they body snatched the white leaders and then set up their second Egypt in America as the Freemasons of Prince Hall in Boston in 1747. I got a page for that too called USA 1492 to 2020. You pray to perfect heavenly forefather like this. In the name of Messiah King Yahusha, I humbly come to you, perfect heavenly forefather of lights, in front of King Yahusha and King Yahuwah Sabbath. Yahuwah Sabbath. So you include them in your prayer, but you're praying the perfect heavenly forefather of lights. But you want King Yahusha there, and you want King Yahuwah Sabbat there so that they can protect you with perfect heavenly forefather of lights. But you're repenting to him and begging for forgiveness to him. End your prayer like this. I love you, perfect heavenly forefather of lights. Oh, perfect heavenly forefather of lights has Bible verses right here. First John 1, 5. I read that to you. James 1, 17. And Messiah King Yahushua said, be perfect like your father in heaven is perfect. That's Matthew 5, 48. End your prayer like this. I love you, perfect heavenly forefather of lights with all my heart, all my soul, and all my mind. The Bible verse for that is Matthew 22, 37. Messiah King Yahushua said, if you love him, keep his commandments. His commandments are the 22 laws. If you go to my page called the 22 laws, you'll also see there's 46 rules. Those 46 rules can only be found in the Pistis Sophia Nagamati book. But Messiah King Yahushua is in it. And he's the one who gives the laws. So if you love him, you keep those laws. It's not hard to follow them. And you say, I love you, King Yahweh Sabah, because he's the example of how a demon can reject the darkness and join the light. And he created the chosen bloodline. He created Messiah King Yahusha to help us souls down here on earth. He also reincarnated you to be in a righteous body to seek the truth now that we're in the awakening. So you should love him and appreciate his hard work. But we don't worship Messiah King Yahusha. We don't worship King Yahweh Sabah. You don't worship me, King Adam of Light. We worship perfect heavenly forefather of lights. But we lead you to him. We're your helpers. But I'm the only one down here. So we're going to pray together as a group for four minutes. <laughs> you can start your prayer.
So I wish you a happy Sabbath Eve in every part of the world except Fiji, Australia, and Papua New Guinea. You're already in Sabbath. So happy Sabbath to you in Papua New Guinea, Fiji, and Australia. I see you guys in here, some of you, um, from those places. Um, and tomorrow, join me for my Sabbath celebration. I promise it's going to be exciting. I don't know what my topic is going to be yet, but it's always going to be something to inspire you, make you excited. And in the top of my head, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about tomorrow. But it's going to be something inspirational. And then every Sunday, you can ask me any questions you want for my weekly, weekly live question and answer. So this page is set up to inspire you every single day. And I got music. Music from me and music from OA Beats. So you got music to listen to. I cover politics. I cover financial stability ideas. I cover everything you need. To, everything you need. As a friend. As a brother. As a mentor. As a coach. For free. I don't ask for no donations. I don't ask for nothing. Except your attention. See you later. Love you.